Hi everybody, we know the topic area of trade and protectionism is a big one for Paper 3. So it's important that we're aware of the major micro effects, macro effects, but also the micro macro reasons for protectionism. It's all coming your way in this video. Make sure that you've watched a variety of my other micro and macro effects videos on the channel already. It's important that you're doing this for all the major topic areas that can feature in paper three. So let's dive in, starting with the micro and macro effects of free trade. It makes sense to go the macro effects first, seeing as that's where we learn it in the course. An obvious macro effect is to talk about economic growth, how countries who exploit their comparative advantage, specialize, have a surplus, can then export that to the rest of the world, increasing X, X minus M, AD, and that takes you to higher growth. It also takes you to job creation. The other side of that is looking at industries who aren't internationally competitive, where maybe jobs are lost as those industries decline. So unemployment, you can go both ways. Uh, inflation, we can say how with free trade, firms can access their raw materials at lower prices, reducing their costs, maybe meaning lower cost push inflation. You've got the link to the current account as well, don't you? Countries with large comparative advantages may be able to exploit those well, leading to current account surpluses, whereas those with limited comparative advantages may have current account deficits as a result of free trade. But also we could talk about inward FDI. If trade is negotiated, free trade deals are signed, often inward FDI is part of that free trade deal. So that is a macro benefit, a macro effect as well. On the micro side, the greater economies of scale that can be exploited by firms now accessing a global market, the lower price benefits to consumers, high consumer surplus as a result of that, but also lower prices for firms. That can mean lower cost of production when they're accessing their inputs, higher quantity and choice benefit there to consumers and to producers. Technology spreads faster when there is free trade as firms who are making more profit. That's another micro effect, by the way, being able to access a global market, a bigger market, are able to reinvest those profits into technology advancement. Dynamic efficiency benefits there, but also uh, firms are able to access imports very easily, very cheaply, and copy technology very quickly and easily that way too. So micro effects for you. Let's move on to reasons for protectionism. Well, macro reasons are very clear. To protect against unemployment, very much a macro reason to raise revenue for developing countries this is quite a big deal. Uh, a major source of tax revenue is actually tariff revenue. So this is specifically coming from tariffs that they're imposed, but we can link that overall to the state of government finances and them improving. Even for developed countries, if tariffs are placed on a wide variety of goods, it can be quite a substantial benefit, certainly a macro reason there. To reduce a current account deficit is quite a common reason. If we then go quite further, we can even link to economic growth as a macro reason too. By squeezing in imports, ceteris paribus, as long as X stays the same, X minus M can increase and that takes you to higher economic growth. Micro reasons would be the infant industry argument. This argument is stemmed within a micro reason and that is for um, small firms in a country to grow in size, develop economies of scale, become more competitive that way. To protect against dumping, yes. Often when dumping occurs, that's when a good is sold overseas at a price below cost of production, it's because there is an excess supply in that original country. Maybe because that government is subsidizing industries very significantly, or minimum prices are being used, creating an excess supply, which is then dumped abroad. Um, but also the standards argument or regulations in place to protect consumers with product standards, to protect the environment, environmental standards, protect workers with worker regulations or with health and safety standards, just protecting society generally with strict standards and strict regulations. Micro reasons for you there. What about the effects of protectionism? Let's go macro effects first. Protectionist measures that encourage more domestic production can then protect against unemployment, yes, prevent it rising, but also can actually create jobs. There's your link to unemployment as a macro effect. Also can squeeze imports and thus improve a country's current account position and in that way can also potentially lead to higher economic growth as a macro effect. However, protectionist measures like tariffs and quotas that increase the price of imports can be inflationary. If they're imposed on the imports of raw materials or inputs generally, firms who are importing those raw materials, those inputs, are gonna see higher cost of production, link that to cost push inflation rising in a country. If tariffs are imposed that are highly regressive, there's a risk of income inequality rising, but also tariffs that raise revenue for the government can help to improve 
government finances. On the micro side, a good way to think of these effects, just think of your tariff diagram, a diagram that shows you higher prices. We can then link that to lower consumer surplus, but also to higher domestic producer surplus. Uh, the worries of lower quantity and choice, bad news for consumers and producers. Then your revenue impacts. So how domestic producer revenue will increase with a tariff, how foreign producer revenue will be squeezed. These are all micro effects. And then the risk of inefficiency, yes, allocative inefficiency and complacency, that kind of inefficiency if tariffs are imposed and they're there for a long period of time. There we have it, guys. As simple as that. And that's really what you should be taking away. Make sure that for all the topic areas that could feature in paper three, I've made a video guiding you what those topic areas are, that you're doing exactly this. Micro macro effects and where relevant reasons, policies, causes, whatever it might be. It's a simple task to do. Make sure you do it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in future paper three videos.